Howdy, howdy, neighbors. This is DJ Davenport bringing you Access to Bluegrass, a bluegrass show brought to you every week at this time by this station and Harper Run Communication Arts of Battle Creek, Michigan, and by the uh, Great Northern Music Store and Getting Picky Music Store of Howard City, Michigan. And we uh, want to thank everybody out there for all of the nice telephone calls and emails and letters that we've been getting. We really appreciate that uh, to no end. So for the next half hour, sit back and enjoy a good bluegrass show. Thank you.
Better not close your eyes, you better stop and look around. Count your blessings, praise the Lord, never fret or frown. Kentucky. Let's do them a song. Hey, buddy, we got a mountain full of folks from the state of Kentucky all the way up here in the state of Michigan. Not just from Kentucky. We got a new addition from Brand Kentucky. new addition. She's uh -huh. sitting on the front row. Her name is Shelly. Uh-huh. And she's mad to the boy on the Martin guitar. Honey, this is for you. One, two, three, four. <laughs>
Buddy, I'm going to tell you one thing. The crowd is roaring. Put my hat back on, son. I paid an awful lot of money for that hat. It's so good to be up here in the state of Michigan today. Battle, battlefield or Battle Creek? Dad, it's Battle Creek. Get it right, battle man. Creek. I was just thinking about the battlefield I just went through with today. <laughs> this boy on uh, banjo, he's my middle-aged son. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and make him welcome today. His name is Stephen Joseph. That boy is multiple talented. He's going to be uh, picking up the dobro, and he's going to bring back some old memories to a lot of us today that grew up with the old time, Grand old Opera. Yeah. Your Boys, day. I'll never forget them days. What do you mean, my days? That's son? your day. Yeah, Dad, you way back there. <laughs> yeah, I was born back there when I was just a baby. You called, you, see, you, you one old honky. <laughs> one old honky man. <laughs> Dad, I'll tell you what, let's do one. Uh, is, has anybody ever been to the Grand Ole Opry? I've been there a lot of times. Buddy. All right, well, I'm going to dedicate this one to y'all. Here's one uh, I'm sure will take you way back. goes like this. Make it cry. Come on, try a little bit of that. Hope you like it. My dad's playing for you. Tell him a little bit about it, Pop. Buddy, I want you to know this mandolin has come down through the generations. A lot of generations standing between me when this mandolin was first built. Balls, I'll never forget it. My old grandpappy was laying on his deathbed. I went in to see him just before he left this world. I said, Grandpa, I'm here to visit you. I can't remember now, boys, which side of the bed he was laying on. He was on the left, Dad. He's on the left side. I said, Grandpa, I know all the rest of the family is wanting all your money and all the land. Go ahead and give them that three acres. But there's only one thing that I want. When you leave this world, when God gets finished with you, and you decide to... 
I want that manling, Grandpa. He said, son, we have been close. He said, I remember taking you fishing when your own daddy wouldn't go with you. We was close. He said, you are my favorite grandson. I didn't know it, boys, till later. I found out all the rest of them was granddaughters. <laughs> yes, sir, we was close. Just before he left this world, he sold it to me. Oh, look out. Play it, boys. Introduce him. That's our baby brother. So how about putting your hands together and make old Sean feel good today? Hey, yeah. Boy, listen to the girls holler now. Oh, they no. like me. I tell Sean, you. Sean, you make sure you do this song right because she's sitting right out there. Yeah. All Are right. You ready? I gotta Here make go. this one right. My little lovely wife is sitting right out there. I see you, honey. One and a two. What's after two? Three. Oh, three. <laughs> love song I wrote. Sean's gonna sing it. It's a country love song called Don't Cry It Out My Back, Baby, You'll Rush My Spurs. <laughs> I've been lonesome. I've been empty. I've got an aching way down inside. I need someone, someone to hold me. Pull down the shade, turn out the lights, and love me tonight. Don't think about tomorrow, it don't matter anymore. We can turn the key and lock the world outside the door. I need you so now, come on, let go now. Kick off your shoes, turn out the lights, love me tonight. your hair down sit by my side turn off the TV put on some music pull down the shade turn out the lights and love me tonight don't think about tomorrow it don't matter anymore we can turn the key and lock the world outside the door I need you so now come on let go now Kick off your shoes, turn out the lights, love me tonight. Kick off your shoes, turn out the lights, love me tonight. Oh, all right. Hey. Hey, Thank you. Hey, buddy. Here. Dad, now you grab my banjo over there. We're going to bring up the real stars of this program. Uh-oh. Now, these two kids, uh, they belong to myself. and uh, Just soon- yourself? Well, me and my wife, we, you know, we had oh, a couple of youngins there. <laughs> They're here today at the show. So whatever we do, we better get them up here before he falls asleep. I tell you what, boys, they got the fastest feet in America. Little boy, little girl. Yeah. Hey, one, two, three. Yeah.
Big round the middle and he's brought across the rump. Funny, not a mile an hour, taking 30 feet of jump. He ain't never been caught, he ain't never been treed. Some folks say he looks a lot like me. Big round the mill and he's brought across the run. Twenty nine miles an hour, taking thirty feet of jump. He ain't never been caught, he ain't never been treed. Some folks say he looks a lot like me. I think he's wanting something else, Dad. Oh! oh he wants boy. to be paid. I will pay you later, buddy. Right now, I'm out of money. Go <laughs> right on over there and shut back down. Give him another big hand, y'all. Hey. Grandma's got it. Grandma's got the money over there. Grandma's got the money. He don't never have no money. It's Steve, I'll tell you what let's do, son. Let's, let's sing a real awesome. special song, one we picked up not too long ago and talking about the state of New York. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Been a lot of attention on the state of New York and things that's been happening around the world. And uh, hope you enjoy this song. This is coming out on a brand new recording of ours and... Uh, well, you know, sometimes when we're growing up, we think we really got it bad until we get out into the world and experience what it's like. And then we realize that one day we had it better than we thought we did. Hope you enjoy it. I'd be better off in spite of daddy's fears Nothing could have changed my mind Not even mama's tears Wound up in New York City Like so many people do A place where no one ever takes the time to talk with you I'm living life from day to day Spend my nights alone Here within this asphalt world I often think of home there's no friends in New York City, only faces that I see. None of them are friendly like the home folks used to be. I remember days I used to cuss the cotton fields and plow. But the country life looks better to me now. Listen to my daddy's good advice But who can stop a country boy From tasting city life I've seen the lights of the great white way Know what it's all about I'll catch the next greyhound I see that might be Heading south There's no friends in New York City Only faces that I see None of them are friendly Like the home folks used to be I remember days I used to cuss Cotton fields and plow, but the country life looks better to me now. But the country life looks better to me now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Boy, like you, bud. Oh, buddy. You're a hit. 
And Dad, let's do one. Uh, folks growing up around the old home place, I used to, well, me and Paul, together we used to listen to Earl Scruggs and Lester Flats, and while we're right there in that key... Steve, look at the background right here, buddy. Look at that log house up there. Yeah. What does that make you think of, son? It, it makes me think of home sweet home. Let's try a little of that. <laughs> Seventeen miles out in the country, but just because we lived in a two-story house, that didn't mean we had a lot of money, did it, Dad? Oh yeah, buddy. Was anybody poor here coming up? Oh. How many y'all still poor? Well, they ain't much changed much on this end either. I'll tell you for sure. Well, friends, we came up in that big old two-story house, and me and old me and old Sean, the guy down on the end, we had to share the same bed coming up. I didn't know what it's like to sleep. A I didn't know what it like to sleep alone until I got married. <laughs> but anyway, we got ready for bed one evening. I got down on the side of the bed on my knees. <laughs> oh, Sean, he got down there on the side of the bed on his knees. I said, Sean, what are you doing? He said, well, the same thing you're doing. I said, you better not boil the pots over here. <laughs> Well, it looks like the old uh, clock on the wall is caught up with us, and it's time to pack up our gear and get out of here and let another fine program come on. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate that, uh, and we appreciate the uh, cards and letters and uh, emails and uh, telephone calls, uh, whatever. Uh, we really appreciate those folks. Uh, it makes this all worthwhile. And uh, we want to thank our uh, people behind the scenes, our uh, our whole crew, uh, there's a bunch of them, so I can't name all of them. <laughs> Until next time, this is DJ Davenport wishing you and yours the very, very best. And take care of one another. You couldn't take care of nicer people. <laughs>